Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany, Madam Licious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply. Leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future. As well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on tonight. So let's see what's going on with you all. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages for the overall collective. So we have your entire family is in on the setup. Honey, I'm so tired of people shicey, low down, dirty, evil, wicked, sinister, sold out, demonic, demonically possessed, wretched, treacherous as family i don't know what to do i'm tired of i'm tired of hearing about them i don't want to think about them you know, like like seriously should i see individuals in on the setup liars cheaters and thieves i mean if y'all have family like this y'all should be tired of their ass too because this is ridiculous Every day, every other day, is something coming up about somebody's sorry, um, trifling ass family. Okay, we have not happy for you. Okay, so obviously, these individuals aren't happy for you. So, if you are, you know, um, reaching, you know, accomplishing any goals, um, you know successfully doing anything in your life these people aren't they're aren't happy for you okay yeah they don't support you as uh, either here we have something is being hidden no support here so we don't look into this i'm pretty sure there's a more can be said from this deck alone okay but we're going to use this what we have with here to work with so your entire family is in on the setup okay shicey individuals in on the setup okay so these shicey individuals is in on the setup these could be people that your entire family is collaborated with so these shicey individuals basically could be people other than your supposed family they all liars cheaters and thieves spirit is saying this is sitting directly under your entire family is in on it the shicey individuals is in on the setup. They not happy for you. Just like your family not happy for you. Okay. So if um, you are doing something. Like I said. If you are accomplishing some type of goals. Or if you're aiming for success. If you're trying to progress in life. In any type of way. These people are not happy for you. Spirit is saying. Okay. There's something that is being hidden. It could. You know. Obviously. They hide in the fact that they liars, cheaters, and thieves. Okay. They probably hide in the fact that they manipulators and cons. They hide in the fact that they two-faced, low-down, dirty, gutter, wreck, backstabbing bastards. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a lot that's being hit, okay? Um, we also have no support here, okay? So these people are not supporting you, okay? Or have been together um, not to show you any support. Could be doing things behind the scenes to try to stop you, block you, hinder you, halt you, blacklist you, red list you in some type of way for you to have no support system from other people as if, you know your support is based off of them you know what i'm saying like I, I don't know if they think you're gonna have some type of pity party if you're gonna ball up in some fetal position and cry over them i don't know what makes these people to believe that when you was born that somehow your life was determined off of having the love support of them like i'm not really sure what goes through a narcissist sociopathic individual's mind but here we are today okay um that's what's going on ladies and gentlemen so we're gonna get some further clarification for the situation okay 
we're going to see what else is happening here but first guys please like share and subscribe that is your free way of showing your support to the channel it is greatly greatly appreciated i do thank you all in advance um yeah so your entire family I, I, I see here time is money. These people are materialistic, greedy, money hungry, gold diggers, whether they male or female. Okay. Um, this probably ties into their lies, their deception, their manipulation, their cheating, their thieving, and all this other kind of mess. Okay. Yeah. So to clarify, your entire family is in on the setup. We have the tower here. Okay. You know another thing that amazes me? It amazes me how many cowards it takes to get together to go against one person. That just goes to show just how pathetic they are. You understand what I'm saying? Like, just think about one person. Think about a whole basketball team. Not even the five players that they put on the, the, the court at one time. Okay, just think about the entirety of a basketball team or the entirety of a football team or a soccer team. Whatever your favorite sport is. Think of that entire, everybody that is on that team being all on the field, all on the court at one time playing against one person. Say you were part of a whole nother team, but you're the only person on that team. And you have the whole entirety of another team to go against one you. They don't take the one best person on their team and have them to square up one and one against you. It amazes me how many cowards, how many bullies, how many cons, how many liars, cheaters, deceivers, manipulators, cons. Okay? How many Satanists, witches, demons, demonically possessed individuals? I mean, you can call them whatever you want to call them. How many individuals? It takes all of them to come together to fight against one person or to work against one person. It really goes to show their character, the type of people that they are. Nevertheless, we have the tower here on your entire family is in on the setup here, okay? Now, the thing with the tower is, the tower is something that happens suddenly. It's like a sudden upheaval, a sudden shakeup of things, tragic news, information, situations, problems of any kind. Murder, death, harm, destruction, illness, injuries, lies, deceptions, disruptions, chaos, okay? But it's, 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 it's tragedy nonetheless, okay? It's what a tower is. A tower can happen at any time. This is sitting here with your entire family is in on the setup. This means that your entire family, your mother's side of the family, your father's side of the family, and any and everybody in between there are in on the setup to cause some type of tower in your life to cause complete destruction of an ending of you your existence your life okay spirit say the entire family is in on the setup okay which is quite interesting okay because you have you know even though you have people who are uh, you know are part of different walks of life that means that you have people who even proclaim to be righteous, upstanding pillars of the community. You have people who proclaim to be saved, sanctified, delivered, Christian, holier than thou. Teaming up with those of them who are witches, warlocks, demons, satanists, devil worshippers, sellouts. This means you have people in sororities and fraternities and, and, and cliques and clubs and groups and gangs and in secret organizations and secret societies and witch covens and satanic cults. This means you have people of all different walks of life. Okay? Whatever they proclaim to be a part of who have come together for one main purpose. You are the common denominator you, for one main purpose to work against you. And interesting enough, usually these people who do this, okay, your bullies, usually the people who do this, 
they do everything in their power to make you feel like you are less than. You're nobody. You're of no importance. Nobody cares about you. Nobody loves you. But they sure spend a lot of time, money, energy, and effort trying to sabotage and ruin a nobody. If it was in fact true that you was of nobody, if you was of no importance, if that was the case, then they would just ignore you. Then they wouldn't care about you. They wouldn't think about you. They wouldn't worry about you. They wouldn't waste their money, their time, their effort, their energy working against you because you are nobody. And usually nobody self-destruct. So they will pretty much depend on you doing such instead of them wasting their time, their money, their energy, and their effort to work against you to try to speed up some type of process of a tower happening in your life. See, these are things I think about, okay? I'm the type of person that thinks about the ifs, the ands, the buts, the maybes, and the possibilities, okay? I know how to step outside of a situation. You know, just step outside of your body, outside of the situation, and be that individual on the outside looking in to be able to dissect what the hell is going on. And that's what is going on. But it doesn't make any sense. So obviously, you must be somebody, and of somebody of importance at that, for them to be going so hard against somebody that they desperately want to prove is a nobody. That don't make sense. Very clarify shy see individuals in on the setup. Shy see individuals in on the setup. So who are these shy see individuals that's in on the setup? Okay. It's interesting because I see the hermit energy here, okay? What this lets me know is that the, the other shisty individuals that's in on the setup outside the entirety of your family, they're in secret. They're in hiding. They're closed off, okay? They're, they're the ones who throw their stones and hide their hands, okay? They're somewhere hidden behind the scenes, behind closed doors, unseen, unheard. But they're still a part, make up the shisey individuals who's in on the setup with your entire family. They're in hermit mode. Everybody know that hermits are to themselves, by themselves, on their own, alone, secluded, isolated. You understand what I'm saying? But the interesting thing about hermit individuals is hermits is always in deep thought. Hermits are uh, usually in study, in research, in uh, something. Okay, This means that the shisey individuals who are in on the setup, they are secretly somewhere behind the scenes doing sinister, evil, wicked things to you. You understand? Spirit clarified liars, cheaters, and thieves. So I keep seeing this card, time is money. So stop wasting it. Nine times out of ten, these people came together to steal something of value from you. Something something um, material in nature. Okay. This this also this card is interesting. This says time is money, so stop wasting it. And if it don't make money, it don't make sense. This talks about money, hungry, gold diggers. This talks about greed. It talks about bribes, persuasions, temptations, desires, uh, lust for money, and then all these other kind of things. But we know these people are liars, cheaters, and things because they've stolen something from you. Okay. This could be money, this could be property, this could be homes, this could be businesses, whatever they have stolen from you. You, um, is either for the purposes of money or they have stolen um, some large amount of, uh, uh, of material things from you okay this is the reason for their lies this is the reason for them cheating you this is the reason for their thieving okay spirit clarify not happy for you not happy for you whoever you are you a targeted individual look at that this is still here still strong okay 
So you fight until you can't fight anymore. When the going gets tough, just keep on going. You're a proud woman, whoever you are. You're strong-willed, you're strong-minded, you know nonsense, you have a backbone, you stand up for yourself, okay? Even though you are a targeted individual, even though you are being illegally, unjustifiably, unwarrantedly surveillanced, invaded, violated, harassed, stalked, discriminated against, isolated from witchcraft to illegal technology has been used against you, directed energy, weapons, hatred towards you, tracking, hacking, violations, voice to skull, remote neuromonitoring. A norm monitoring, neuro logistic programming, directed energy weapons. Okay, you're being targeted in various different ways, but you're still here and you're still strong, and they're not happy for you. The sun is shining on you. The sun, the sun uh, guarantees you new beginnings, fresh starts, second chances, happiness, abundance. Peace of mind, freedom, amusement, creativity, newness, fulfillment. Okay? Peace, harmony. Okay? As well as I see the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay? The Wheel of Fortune talks about luck. It talks about um, abundance, prosperity, stability, security, finances, money, and resources turning for the better in your favor, windfalls, better lucks, raises, advances, savings, wills, promotions, loans, inheritances, trust, things looking up for you. Okay, this could be in, in, in the terms of your career, your job, your hobbies, educations, trades, okay, but it's good for a change. This this is all your energy. This is the reason why these people are not happy for you, okay? Look at that high priestess. I'm there's no manipulation of cards. I'm reading you every card back to back here. Back to back here. Okay? This will is in the upright and it's turning in your favor here, okay? You are a high priestess. This means that you uh, are is someone who is wise. You're someone who is highly intuitive, okay? Um, you could be someone who is naturally empathic, especially if you were this water sign energy here because my Pisces card is here, okay? Um, you could be someone who uh, know or holds sacred information, occultic knowledge, okay? Um and different things as well okay yeah but they've done everything in their power to cause you heartache and heartbreak and sadness sorrow misery and disappointments and regret and different things this is the reason why these people are working so hard against you they're not happy for you spirit is saying Yeah, they're not happy for you because you're still here and you're still strong. Because you're a proud woman, okay? Because you fight until you can't fight anymore. Okay? When the going gets tough, you just keep on going. See, they've thrown all type of obstacles in your way. Okay? They've done everything to hurt you, to put you down, to shame you, to blame you, to hurt you, to harm you. Okay? To cause you to have... A bad life as much as possible with the hopes that you would give up or self-destruct and yet you still here you still strong and they're not happy for you they're not happy that the Sun it continues to shine on you they're not happy that the wheel is in the upright and it's turning in your favor see this is why they're not happy for you spirit clarify there's something being hidden clarify there's something being hidden spirit yeah, see, you've learned to grow through what you go through, okay? You're nobody's victim, slave, or puppet. You're going to overcome your haters, overcome your oppressors, uh, and you're going to stand against your oppressors as well. Spirit, what's being hidden? What is being hidden, Spirit? They gossiping about you, talking about you, rumoring about you, okay? Um. Trying to shame you, blame you, spreading rumors about you, accusations, speculations, all kinds of things, scandals, all type of things, okay? It's interesting even with that because it, there's nothing being said to your face. Something is being hidden. We had a death card here. These people are actively trying to take you out. 
they're actively trying to bless sacrifice you. They were trying to murder you by numbers. You know, if, they, if the pot was that big, got anything to do with anything. You know, they, you know, they all about how the, the the sun and the moon and the stars align and different things. Okay, they all about the planetary systems and then they all into numerology and zodiologies and astrologies and astronomies and different things. Okay, it's the reason why they do things on certain days at certain times in certain places and and you know. And different things like that, okay? They're trying to murder by numbers you. This death here. They want you to have a loss of life, an ending. They want there to be a conclusion uh, to you, okay? They want there to be a death of something to bring about the change that they want. The transformation that they want. They want you dead and gone. That's what's being hit. That's what's being hit. See, they think they're going to they make your life a living hell while you living. Sacrifice you to kill you off. And they think they're going to benefit off of your life and your death. And then run off into the sunset when you dead and gone. And all of their crisis acting as is liable to show up first on the scene to be seen before media at your funeral and everything. Trying to play pretend like they done loved you your whole life. See, that's what these people do. It's very clarified no support. If I know support spirit. So we clarify no support. I see here, keep your distance, stay away from the enemy. Choose your friends, your family, your lovers wisely. These people have shown you who they really are. When people show you who they really are, you need to believe them, okay? You need to step away from those of them who don't serve your highest good, who don't have your best interests at heart, okay? Love is an action word. Anybody can say they love you. You know how many jokers and told a woman that they loved them and all they wanted was one thing and when they got that one thing which was usually uh, resulted around sex, they ghosted them. Okay, so anybody can tell you that they love you. I hear people lying to, to complete strangers all the time. Oh, I love y'all. No, they don't. They love you long as you support them. Or they claim to. Soon as they, soon as you're not, they will cuss you out. They will talk about you like a dog. They will dismiss you and some more shit. People offer lies that people don't even ask for. Okay. And that four-letter word is one uh, that that few people mean or even know the meaning of. Yet they throw around so easily. Love is an action word. You have to be doing something to show that you love somebody. For it to be proven that it actually exists. Otherwise, you're just talking. Okay? Yeah, you need to keep your distance from these people. They're not supporting you. There's a fire sign that you either don't have no support from or never had any support from. Such as Aries or Leo. Yeah. Spirit is saying, even though these people don't support you, don't give up. Continue to follow your heart, okay? This could have to do with your talents, your skills, your abilities, love, work, life, relationships, hobbies, hobbies, uh, whatever makes you happy. Spirit is saying, don't give up, okay? Even though you don't have these people's support, okay? Keep your distance from the enemy. Stay away from the enemy. Clarify no support. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoever you are, you are orphan. Okay. You don't have no family. You probably don't have any friends. You may not even have a lover. If you're anything about myself, you're a lonely loner. Okay. You're all alone. Some of you are an actual orphan. Others of you, others of you, you were treated like an orphan. Okay, but some of you, you have no family, you have no friends, like I said, you possibly have no lover, you're in hermit mode, you're an introvert, so you're usually to yourself, by yourself, on your own, okay? Some of you could have experienced, uh, you could have been a traffic victim, you could have went through some type of kidnapping or abduction when you were a child, you could have been switched at birth, it's just why you have trust issues because of the childhood trauma, um, the satanic ritual abuse that you endured, uh, some of you were stolen, okay um you were sold and you say to yourself 
you're all alone you're on your own okay yeah the spirits say don't give up okay the fact of the matter is is they just making it blatantly evident to you now that you have no support but technically they never supported you they was never in support of you why? Because they never cared about you. They never loved you. And if you notice, for the majority of you all, if you've experienced some type of awakening of some kind, that they didn't go full, even though they've been doing little things all your life, lying to you all your life and different things, they didn't go full, they didn't go full throttle and band together to work against you until they all had the understanding that you was awake and you were able to see what they were doing to you. That's when things started to switch up, change up, okay? But you have no support here, okay? Yeah. They tried to black, blackmail you into selling out here to being a part of some type of coven or cult or devil worshipping, secret society, sex ring, prostitution ring, gang stalking group of some kind so that they could, they wanted to use you and abuse you. They wanted you to, to sell out um, to these wealthy elite satanic powers that be and they are because that's who that's on on set that's who you selling out to and then from there they're the ones who force you to to denounce god and worship the devil as your god from then there most people just assume oh you sold your soul to the devil where well, there's a lot of steps that comes before that that's just something that they force upon you to put you in alignment with lucifer but technically who you the onset of these situations who you're selling out to who you bow down in the worship being is um, wealthy elite people in power that run, rule, and control this world, okay? That's what they don't tell people, okay? They wanted to blackmail you into selling out. You know, they tried to back you up against the wall and trick you, persuade you, bribe you, blackmail you into selling out so it could make, so it can make it more easy to sacrifice you, okay? Um, and when you did not go along uh, uh, we, see, see the, the problem with the satanic powers that be is the only people who get wrapped up into this is selfish, greedy, needy, materialistic people. Okay? Because, I mean, let's just be real. The majority of the people who decide to sell out, they do so for fame, fortune, attention, and recognition. Okay? Um, then you have a group of other individuals who was tricked or persuaded into selling out because they got in trouble with the law and they was offered some type of deal. Well, if you sell out to us, if you work for us for the rest of your life, then we will turn a blind eye to these offenses or these crimes that you have committed and different things like that or whatever. This is how they turned red. They turned informants. They turned, you know, all this other kind of stuff. This is how they got a lot of African-American people. This is the reason why you see so much black. You see way more black on black crime than you see um, uh, any other type of crimes that you can look into. Okay, this is how they was able to turn them. They put the problems in these urban areas, okay, and when these people uh, became susceptible to these problems like addictions and, and criminal activity and different things like that, they, they caught them up. They was watching them the whole time. They caught them up on purpose. They put them in the system, okay, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. It doesn't matter what end of the system you go into, okay? Whether you end up being a ward of the state in foster care or whether you end up being in uh, some mental institution or you whether you end up being in jail, all these things, it's all part of the system, a system that they control. You understand what I'm saying? And when they come to you and they offer you these deals, these really aren't deals. These are actually um, bribes persuasions for you to sell your soul for them to forever have control over you. It's the same thing with people who who uh, willingly sign up to go into the military. That's the reason why the, the realest soldiers were the ones who was forced to go into the military back in the day when they didn't give you a choice as to whether or not you, you could sign up or not where they just forced your sons come and just, you know, scooped up your sons and forced. They were some of the realest soldiers we never had. They went into them situations blind. They was experimented on. They was used and abused in all kind of ways. And they was front of the lines to fight. And they was front of the lines to die for their country and what they th thought that they were supposed to believe in. They was used. You understand what I'm saying? You got plenty of people who who go and, 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 and sign up and be a part of the military and different things now, whatever. But they have a different system. They're still using the system, but it's still a system. They still have a way of using and abusing uh, these people. 
Okay? But that's a different story for a different day. They tried to blackmail you into selling out. To get you to be a part of the very shit that they are a part of. So they could make it easy. One, for them to make money off of you. They used you and abused you till they got tired of doing so. And, um... And as soon as you would think that you was good and comfortable and safe, they would sacrifice you. It would make it easier for them to sacrifice you when you are sold out to them and they are controlling everything. You understand what I'm saying? We also, I also see here the Monarch Programming card, my MK Ultra Mind Control card, Brainwashing card, okay? Satanic Ritual Abuse card, Government Experimentation card here, okay? This is also the reason why, this is also something that you have had to endure, that you have had to go through, which is another reason why you haven't had any support, okay? Many of you, um, like I said, you went through a lot of childhood trauma. And different things you was put under mind control you were sold and put under mind control and and and, and used to the government's uh, uh discretion as a child your entire life you wasn't aware of this okay um and it's probably it's the, re the very reason why you've been without and, and you've had to juggle and you had to struggle and you've been purposely planted in poverty and all these other type of things that you have had to endure and gone through and why life has seemingly been so hard for you you understand what I'm saying? Um, this was all done on purpose. Okay? You was put under mind control. There was monarch programming done on you. Probably beta sex kitten programming on you. If there was ever a time. If you was sexually promiscuous early. You you went through some type of beta sex kitten programming. You went through some type of satanic ritual abuse. Where you were you were groomed. Um, um, SA, sexual assault, and molested, and different things when you at a very young age to make you see. see that's what has to happen for a young person to end up being sexually promiscuous on their own. This happens before you get there. It's programming, it's learned behavior, it's something that is trained in a person. You understand what I'm saying? If you was to take a young person and not introduce them to any things like that, they wouldn't have those thoughts, they wouldn't have those inklings, those feelings, or anything to even be a part of any of that on their own. It's learned behavior. It's something that's taught. It's something that's done. Okay? And they've been doing a lot of these things for years. Torture victims make some of the best um, um, artists you've ever seen in your life. Which you don't understand. It's a whole lot of people with uh, uh, people just like persons with disabilities make some of the best artists as well. They still to this day use torture tactics to make some of the best artists that you have ever seen. They've endured a whole lot of torture and things behind the scenes to make them as good as they are. All you see is the good artists that they are and that's what you idolize and that's what you love. You have no idea how they got there, what they had to go through to be as good as they are. Anyway, whoever you are, you're an orphan. And you endure some type of government experimentation, satanic ritual abuse, mind control, mind programming, MK Ultra, brain white, all that stuff, okay, that they claim that they don't do anymore, but yet they still do. Yeah. Okay. But Spirit is telling you don't give up, okay? With not having no support here, okay? Because regardless to what the people say, you're going to make it anyway. That's what's going on here, y'all. So we're going to get some further clarification for the situation. Spirit said your life is a movie. A movie. You're the real life Truman Show. Okay. Some of you, if you feel anything like I feel, the Truman Show was based off of your life. Was made because of you. Okay. It's a setup. Your entire life has been uh, uh, psyop, stage events. Your entire life has been a lie. And the ops and the sellouts are all around you and they're all in on it. Okay, guys, that's what's going on here. So let's see what other messages Spirit have as it relates to the situation. Spirit, clarify your entire family is in on the setup. Your entire family is in on the setup. Look at that coffin. Didn't I tell you they're trying to kill you? They're trying to cause a tower in your life, a tragic moment that will lead to your, your untimely death. Your entire family is in on 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 the, on the blood sacrifice of you. So we're clarify shiesty individuals involved. Clarify shiesty individuals involved. 
some of y'all I see I seen I just seen lovers some of y'all have uh, exes ex-girlfriends or boyfriends that's in on the setup with your families yeah I keep seeing something about mature I see mature woman so you um, I keep seeing these bad mother figures so whether these are the like mother figures grandmothers aunts or whatever they're involved I also see wealthy men here they're involved okay I guess I can go ahead and put all these individuals out um, so there's a there are wealthy people in power that I'm seeing the community here okay yeah family room here lovers so you got lovers this, this mature woman here, this may be a mother or a grandmother or an older individual. Uh, that's a woman that's involved here. You have wealthy men. This means you have wealthy men and women in power who are high up in power, who are wealthy, who are part of these shiesty individuals that's in on the setup. You also have the community here. The community sums up everybody. This The community is complete strangers. There's folks that you, you ain't never had so much as an argument argument with less long a misunderstanding disagreement a fight or anything complete strangers is working against you in the community family room okay you see how this family room is empty for some of you all like for those of you who have family you don't have family like if you know for sure that your family is your family these you was the black sheep that scapegoated the family you was always left out you was always put down ridiculed judged um talked about you know uh neglected abandoned mistreated abused in some type of way they never supported you they never had your back they never showed you any real love like that okay they possibly never even taught you anything or or, or anything okay you probably was all grown and on your own at an early age or what have you and the reason why nobody was worried then because they was hoping that um, you would either self-destruct and kill yourself or you'd be so young and, and, and on your own that, you know, somebody else would come along and, you know, you would succumb to some tragic situation or event or something like that. Others of you, this family room is empty because the family that you grew up around is not your real family. And the same thing applies. They didn't love you, support you, have your back. You was isolated, neglected, abandoned. They mistreated you. They never loved you, okay? Um, you actually are an orphan, okay? Um, whether these people kidnapped you, stole you, some type of deep family secret you belong to, some, you know, you, you know, for some of you, uh, the person that you think is your mother might be your sister, or the person that you think is your mother might be your aunt, or the person that you think is your mother might be your cousin, uh, you know, or, you know, families have real, you know, sick, twisted, incestuous, you know, low down dirty ass secrets like that some of you um and i want i, I want y'all to understand this because this comes out a lot but this is something that came to me a while back y'all when i be talking to you all how people have sold out i don't think people understand like you can look at things individually but what y'all need to understand what the satanic powers that be have been doing they have been doing for a long time there are whole families who are sellouts and who are in the pocket of the powers that be and I'm gonna tell you what I mean for persons and and they use they use these families for other things that they cover up like um, human trafficking and different things like that there are certain children that may have been kidnapped and abducted and they used in the system whether for a uh, government experimentation or whether they're used for um, um, uh, as sex slaves and different things like that they use them to a certain age and the ones that they don't kill off they use these sold out families okay and place you with them Almost how to, it's really kind of how the foster care system go. Y'all, um, if any of you all have ever been to a foster home or, or a government, um, uh, um, government residential facility, okay? I've lived in all of these places before. This is how I know these things, okay? Um. These families, first of all, I need to understand that whether it's a foster home, uh, temporary, or, or if it becomes permanent for a person, they are paid a whole lot of money from the government to take in these kids, okay? Um, but some of these foster homes, the ones that's like overly packed 
and they have like they liable to have anywhere from 10 to 12 children in one home and different things like that or what have you that person that's supposed to be careful they getting a check for every last one of those because they getting a whole shitload of money for every last one of those kids you understand what i'm saying it's the same type of system that is going on for these traffic kids a lot of kids they end up in the system okay they have gone through horrific abuse they've been kidnapped they've been abducted they have been abandoned they have been experimented on they've been abused sexually mentally emotionally all kinds of ways and then they're dumped in certain families some of them are hidden in these families um you know some you know somebody may call them illuminati fans but it's not so much as illuminati they controlled you know you don't even understand the people who are really in the illuminati are high up in the shadows in hiding Okay, the people that y'all think are in Illuminati are really not. They're representations of them, but they're really not in the, you know what I'm saying? They're representations on them and they're in shit on a lower level or what have you. But they literally have these family, you know what I'm saying? So, sometimes people have been, have been taken in place in families. The whole family is sellout. Okay, and they are paid to take a certain child in and they literally raise that child like somebody whoever they end up putting that child with is the parent of that child. And the whole time while you are uh, with that family when you are of a young age you are drugged. You probably remember you you put on different type of uh, psychotropic drugs. You was forced to go to different type of counselings and different type of things where they ask you different type of questions all the time because they want to see what you know and what you remember, what you're going to say. Okay? And no matter what you say, they're not going to do anything about it. They cover it up. You understand what I'm saying? That's on purpose. Okay? Because during that time, you're shipped from different places, from place to place. Okay? And you're used by different people. Okay? But you're hidden within these, that there's whole families that are sellouts, y'all. The entirety of the families, okay? Everybody that you ever come into contact with, the mothers, the fathers, the uncles, the aunts, the grandparents. You understand? The cousins. The, the, you understand what I'm saying? And certain people, like people like myself who have been placed in families is not your family. But you literally have known nothing but them from what you can remember and told and been drilled that this is your family and different things like that. Yet you still end up being mistreated and left out and neglected and abandoned and treated like a nobody. And nobody cares about you and loves you and different things like that. They treated you like that because you was no relation to them. This is the reason why it seems like everybody else is well knit, stuck together, and a family. No matter how many times they get into it, or argue, or fight, or what go on in the family. You understand? They still a family. But you are, like, excluded from that. I'm telling you, nine times out of ten, is some sinister shit like this going on. A lot of times when, when people speak of these individuals being sellouts, or what have you, people tend to look individual. And a lot of times, people can be individual sellouts for their own gain. Okay, certain positions, titles, roles, rankings, uh, you know, fame, fortune, attention, recognition. This depends on what level you own and what you're striving after and what you're trying to get. Okay, people, people also assume that only the richest people that you see are sellouts. There are people who are regular, everyday, average. You see, not everybody's goal is to be rich and famous. Not everybody want to be rich and famous. You know what I'm saying? But most people, even people on a lower level, want a decent job, making decent money with some benefits. Where they can retire from one day. They want even lower level people want a decent home. You know, want transportation. You understand what I'm saying? So you have people who sell out on a lower level. You understand what I'm saying? This is what has enabled the people who grew up up in the projects to get out of the projects and they now have homes yet you don't this is because you was the one that they was banking off of that they was making money off of your entire life you understand what I'm saying you were the one that they signed over and allowed the government allowed these powers to be to you see see it's mind over matter and they think you we too dumb to know this Okay, to even to express this, to let other people know that that is what is going on. Y'all need to understand, There, the churches sold out a long time ago. Every church, this is the reason why they fall, they, every church, no matter what uh, they claim to be, Baptist, Meth uh, Methodist, Presbyterian, they all follow the rules, regulations, and bylaws of the Catholic Church. 
everything that the Vatican come up with, whether they are Catholic or not. Okay? When they have those pastoral uh, uh, meetings and, and different things, and they 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 uh, they uh, little seminars and they, they, all this other kind of shit, and they meet up for this shit. These are the shit that they discuss. Okay, they have to follow the rules, regulations, and bylaws of the, those the highest and the, of the Catholics, the Jesuits, and all of them, as well as the satanic powers that be, the government. The churches sold out long time ago. There are whole families that sold out long time ago. Okay. The shit that they are doing is how they were able to strip the Native Americans uh, uh, land for them and put them people on re reservations. Okay. As, as well as all other type of things that they have done. The same system in which that they use where they were able to take their asses over to freaking Africa. And take them Africans and force them to come to the United States just to enslave them. You understand what I'm saying? It's a whole lot of people sold out a long time ago for what you to believe is your freedom. What they called your freedom. But you ain't never been free and ain't shit in this world free. You can't live for free and you won't die for free. Even to cremate your ass costs. Liars, cheaters, and thieves. We have sudden wealth here, okay? Whether somebody uh, high in power has offered these people some type of sudden wealth for just the sacrifice of you. See, they are desperate to sacrifice you. You have to be an earth angel or a chosen one or uh, a descendant from the Almighty Most High God um, itself or something because they desperately want your blood spilled. They desperately want you gone. This is not regular hatred. Oh, I dislike you. We just want you gone. They dislike a whole lot of damn people that they not necessarily particularly in no rush, in no hurry, in no haste to kill off. They desperately want you. It's like it's it's it's, it's like ritualistic. Why they want you dead. Okay, to the point where there is sudden wealth. So there could be persons who have fraudulent insurance policy because that's something that they, they, they do a lot is the insurance frauds. Okay, as well as those of them who are sellouts, the they, they secret societies, these satanic powers that be may have offered them a large amount of money for them to, to bribe them to go along. We're working against you to, to, to sacrifice you. Okay? As well as there was something that was uh, 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 left to you, rewarded to you, or something like that. They could have that, that equivalent sudden wealth. They could have stolen this from you. See, there's multiple different ways of where this sudden wealth is coming from. Okay? But that's what's going on here. Yeah. So to clarify, they're not happy for you. We have change here. Okay? Some type of change for the better in your life. Okay? Um, is why they're not happy for you. Okay? They're not happy for you. Okay? Because you are supposed to have some type of high honor. Okay? They're not happy for you because of great fortune here. They don't want you to have this great fortune, this high honor, this change. This is the reason why these people are not happy for you. Spirit, clarify there's something being hidden. They also are not happy for you because of your, uh, your occupation. Something about uh, change, high honor, great fortune, occupation. A home, something to do with a house, or something like that as well. Okay? This is the reason why they have bent over back to steal from you to keep you in poverty. Okay? It's very clarified there is something being hidden. Clarify there is something being hidden. I 
feel like this, this something to do with this death. You see how this man and this woman is luring this child away. Okay, I'm telling you, for somebody, there's something is, that has been hidden and covered up about how how you became to exist, where you come from. Um, okay, I guess for, for somebody, I guarantee you, the FBI, the CIA, they didn't know exactly who you are, and something about your identity that's been hidden, that's been covered up, that's been secret all your life. The identity was stolen here, okay? This is being hidden has something to do with a theft and something to do with death. Okay? And this theft, this could be theft of any kind here. It's interesting. This card is interesting to me. This is a man and a woman that's luring a child away on this thief card. When you think a thief, most people think like money or uh, some type of goods or, you know, something like that. You wouldn't think to see a picture like this on a thief card. This man and woman is luring this child away. Whomever you are, there is something that has been covered up and hidden about you being abducted, stolen. Spirit, clarify no support. Clarify no support. Who you are, main female. Spirit say don't give up. You had no support. Look at that. <laughs> you got child and main female here. You had no support since you were a child. Now you're an adult. This is basically saying that you have had no support all your life. Also, if you have a child, they're doing the same thing to your child that they're doing to you. They're doing the same thing. And these official persons, they know exactly what's going on. They know exactly what's being done. And they're purposely doing things to keep you in poverty on purpose. And these official persons in power, working for the government, they're the ones that's keeping you purposely in poverty. That's what's going on here, y'all. Spirit, please give us clear messages. What are the messages that the collective needs to know? What are the messages that the collective needs to know? Spirit? So, to clarify, your entire family is in on the setup. Yeah, spirits say they pleasure seekers. Pleasure seekers do things for their own amusement, their own enjoyment, their own liking, their own ill will, their own benefit, their own desire. Because they want to, because it makes them feel good. They want a tragic uh, uh, a situation to happen in your life that results in your death. They all in on it. Should I see individuals involved? We got a friend here. Who else? Who are the other should I see individuals involved in the setups there? Should I see individuals involved in the setups there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this. They want you dead and gone so that they can steal something from you. They want you dead and gone so that they can steal this from you. These pleasure seekers want you dead so they can steal the set and wealth from you. Mm -mm. Lover. You got friends. Lovers. Working against you. In on the setup. Spirits say they falsens. They false persons. They fake, phony, fraudulent, untrue, lying, cheating, deceiving, manipulating, con artists. Okay? Who else in on the setup? Who else are what other shicey individuals is in on the setup? I see wife here, some type of wife. I also see old woman here. There's some type of wife. There's also an old woman here. This could be somebody that is like a grandparent or just an older individual, whether you know this person or not. Should I see individuals in on the setup? I even see servants here. These are, these are sellouts, sex slaves, whores, prostitutes. 
individuals who perform duties for money. They're freaking servants. And they are part of the shifty individuals that's in on the setup. <laughs> yeah, look. Service. They're working for someone, helping someone, doing a job for the enemy, for the man, to work against you. They're getting paid to work against you. Spirit is saying. These shicey individuals include somebody who's a priest or an ordained minister. Mm -hmm. How you how you living for God? How you righteous and upstanding? If you if you um, one of the shicey individuals is in on the set of spirits, say they the enemies. The enemies. Spirit clarifying, not happy for you. They foes. So you got your enemies, your foes. Your fo a foe is an enemy or an opponent. An opponent is somebody who is working against you. An enemy is somebody who's not even for you. They don't like you. They don't love you. They don't care about you. Nothing. Y'all got from friends to lovers to to to, to pastors. Okay. Old folk, young folk. All kind of folk. In on this. So you're clarifying not happy for you. They're not happy for you. Alright, obviously some military officials in on this as well. Soldiers. They're not happy for you, Spirit. You might be shocked or surprised to know just how many people are involved. Look at that. Lords. They think they lords, honey. A lord is someone who's in power or authority or has some type of influence or rulership or ownership over something. Okay? That's one of the shiesty individuals that's involved. Okay? They don't want you to have some type of money or cheerfulness or something like that. I see money and cheerfulness here. These people are not happy for you. Okay, something has to do with a gift here. They're not happy for you. Yeah, this is why they want you dead and gone so they can steal this from you. Spirit, clarify there's something being hidden. Clarify there's something being hidden. Somebody is just sitting around waiting for something to happen. They're sitting around waiting on something to happen. There's also something that's being hidden about your about your child. If y'all anything about myself, like myself, they um they have molested my child. They have groomed my child. They have put my child under mind control brainwashed my child, tried to use my child to work against me. They chipped my child right from the dentist. They was gonna they was gonna duck my child from school. She was being molested at two different schools. They had had her they had her bullied. She's also being groomed and 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 molested in mind control she out while at home while at home. This was before I went through an awakening. I've always been attentive to my child, but there were certain things that I didn't know that was actually going or even would have thought that was going on until I started seeing the signs of witchcraft and different things. At one point in time, um, I walked in my daughter's room one time and I found this coin. It was really weird. It was on her floor. It was this coin. It had a pentagram on one side. And some other demonic shit. She got that shit from somewhere. And she went through this phase. She she loves to draw. She used to start she started drawing all these satanic pictures and different things like that. And a lot a lot of sexually explicit pictures. And then she would draw these pictures with like never ending currency amounts. Okay? And it would be like um 
the numbers that the powers that be use it would be like three 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 like it would be like a dollar sign no but then it would be like and it was almost like she was making her own like type of dollar bill on a huge sheet of paper whole sheet of paper would be like three 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 and just never ended she couldn't stop and then she was draw these extravagant little dresses and shit and I was like somebody is telling her for 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 if if you know once I'm dead and gone, when they get rid of me, that she will be rich. And then she'll have all these fancy attires and different things like that. I'm seeing this, okay? And all the sexually explicit pictures and, and then like demonic. She started drawing stuff like skulls and bones and uh, blood gushing stuff and like all kinds of shit. Like this is learn to fuck behavior. Like I kid you not. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing the signs. And my daughter was walking in potty trained by the time she was one. You understand what I'm saying? But... Um, by the time she was school age, uh, when she started using the bathroom, like doing one and two, like being so anxious and nervous and things or whatever, any psychologist, any therapist or anything, I tell you anywhere, that is signs of abuse, predominantly sexual abuse. She got to the point where she's absolutely afraid, like, hated going to the bathroom. That, I mean, so, anyway, long story short, guys. That's why I don't know that why they target me and fuck with me to this day. Because if I told everything I knew from the schools to other people's in leadership and power. They even, even when my daughter, way back when my daughter was uh, in daycare. She was being abused. She was at this one daycare who this, and, and, and coincidentally enough, the man is a pastor and he owned a daycare and his house was right across the street from the daycare, okay? And they really didn't have any real profit. It was only maybe about a couple people that was there that was actually maybe certified and actually real professionals that worked at the place. This man punched my daughter in the nose one time. They sent my child home in different, I could have sued the shit at them people. Send my child home in different clothes. And I'm not the type to put words in my child's mouth. I asked her what happened. Where are your clothes? She was walking and talking at the time. And she told me. This man punched her in her fucking nose. And she bled all over her fucking clothes. And they took her clothes off of her. Putting her in some other clothes. Washed her clothes and different shit like that. I was like, my daughter has. If I told y'all what all they have done to my daughter alone. I can put a whole lot of fucking people on blast. So to this day, they target and gang stalk my daughter. And me as well. And they think I'm too stupid to fucking see it. But it amazes me how many people that these wealthy white folks in power control. I even, seen, I even see certain ones I'm looking at my daughter a certain way. They give her this certain evil eye and shit and they make her uncomfortable. And I see it. Even touch her in a certain way and different shit like that. These people are sick. I can go on and on and on about shit that they have done. And, and, and even these little gang stalking kids they fucking got. They trigger these little fucking kids. To be mean and abusive to your children. And target them on purpose. There are kids who are being targeted on purpose. They are selected out and they are bullied on purpose. all type of people right up in the system working for the systems on all type of different levels they are fucking predators they are sellouts and they know it they're gonna dump my child from school I had a whole fucking dream about it, a whole vision about it before it fucking happened. My daughter got up that day and she, she always loved school because she's a loner. She's the only child. So this is this when she was way younger. Elementary school is fun. You get to be around other kids. You get to play and call, you know, all the different stuff that they do. So that's really bawling, crying, did not want to go. And all I can think about is that vision I had, that, that dream I had. They were going to abduct my child and take her to some type of fucking cave. 
And the interesting thing about it is the school that she was at at the time, not only do they not, the, the playground is not fenced in and they're smack dead in a residential neighborhood, but it's right next to the fucking freeway. And get this, it's right across the street from the children's hospital. So if you think the children's hospital ain't in with the satanic powers that be and abuse of these kids and shit, you got another fucking thing coming. They made my daughter student of the fucking month when she was first there, her first year there, transferring for a whole nother damn school because they closed that school down. Oh, yeah. I already know about the music teacher that's the fucking predator that you tried to cover up. As well as all the other fucking stuff that you think you hiding from me, but I know. I put all their ass on blast. I told them to stop fucking with me a long time ago. But no, they bad. Them bitches bad. And they think they ain't good because they sold out to the fucking powers that be. But you can keep letting them people fool me if you want to. Because see, I grew up in the system. There's a whole lot of shit I can tell you about them that I fucking endure my damn self as a fucking child. I don't know why they play with me the way they playing with me. And I'm telling you all this. Not for your pity, your sympathy, your empathy, no none of that shit. Because I'm not on none of that type of time. This is real fucking life. When I write this shit, it's going to be a bestseller. You best believe it. And can't nobody else write my story for me. The truth I know is too hot for fucking TV. They wouldn't even put that real truth on air. As the real damn truth around here is exposed, you wouldn't have a fucking government. There would be no damn system. There wouldn't even be an entertainment industry. Because all of that shit would go down. That's a fact, Jack. I'm living for my child and that's it. And anything I made is gonna be is gonna be is gonna be for the betterment of my child and left for the proceeds of my fucking child. Just so she ain't got to never want or need these coward bastards for nothing. So I told you all of that to say. There's even things pertaining to your child that they are trying to keep hidden and covered up from you. They did shit to your child and told your child, threatened your child and told your child not to ever tell you. Yeah. This shit really go on. It's all a part of the satanic ritual abuse. It's all a part of the brainwashing and different shit that they do. See, a lot of y'all assume that the, 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 the little counselors and different things and shit that they got at the schools, they are there to help and different and other. They are part of the system. They are part of the programming. They got all type of little manipulative, little sweet, quiet, little innocent ways to groom your child. See, I see it all. Pay attention no matter where you take your child. I've taken my child to the eye doctor before. Whole eye exam done and at the end of the eye exam this bitch put up these old mind control monarch programming subliminal ass images you know those little images and they tell you to look at the pictures and what do you see and they little butterflies and all this other kind of shit that's mind control bullshit I look at them people dead in their face and let them know bitch I know what you're doing I know what it look like Forcibly having to make you take your child for surgical dental procedures where they can be put to sleep where you can do all type of shit to them and they goddamn sleep and then they don't allow you to fucking be back there. All you can do is wait in the goddamn waiting room so they done. They come out all swolled up and bruised up and all this other kind of shit. Yeah, I remember when that happened too. The doctor that was supposed to, the surgeon that was supposed to be working on it, all of a sudden... Oh yeah, I don't work on that. Why do you have a fucking office open then? Why do you accept uh, 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 patients who have like Medicaid and different things like that, but then you claim you yourself don't work on any of those patients? Here come this big buff ass motherfucker who looked like he was straight out the fucking Marines, and he, even his scrubs was all fucking camouflage. He looked like he was a fucking doctor or surgeon for the military to work on my baby. 
the doctor that was supposed to be working on her completely the fuck disappeared. But when I called back up there because of her bruising and swelling and all this other kind of shit was still there days later for a tooth that was just supposed to be extracted. I end up talking to that mother again. See, this is the things they do. And they do it right in the face of the parents and thinking you too damn dumb to know what the fuck is happening. Things about your child is being hidden and shit too. Your child being groomed and brainwashed and put under mind control and all this other kind of shit. My daughter has had school work before. That was set up to be subliminal messages to target me and her life personally. And I look at the shit and notice exactly what's being done. The shit don't bother me none. It's stupid, it's idiotic, and I know who the fuck doing. What what seems to amaze me is how all you motherfuckers on various different levels that these bitch ass satanic powers that be that don't leave their castles and their mansions and they fucking Fortune 500 companies and offices and shit, but they can control y'all from behind the fucking scene. You do everything they fucking tell y'all to do. It amazes me what people would do for money. You either doing it for money or you doing it because you a coward and you scared of them. That's the truth. That's the real truth of what's really going on. That they don't want nobody to know. The reason why you have never had any support. Because as I told you. Somebody with this merchant card here. With the merchant. Y'all need to understand that a merchant is a person or a company. By definition. Look up the word merchant. It means a person or a company that deals with foreign countries wholesale and trade. Somebody I'm talking to that's going to align with this, whether you know it or not, there was something that when you were trafficked, kidnapped, abducted, or trafficked as a child, you were stolen or sold. Or something. And for those of you who you matter of factly. You, you identify with this reading. But you matter of factly know that your family was your family. Your family sold out. And because your family sold out. They sold you out as well. And they allowed you to be trafficked other places at time. To be abusing. You were sent back. And then you were sent back home. You was given some type of drug. To wipe your mind clean. And then you were sent back home. See, I've seen death. I've seen people kill. And then they give you drugs to wipe your mind. To keep you from remembering it. They give you drugs to keep you from remembering the, 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 the um, abuses that you went through. To keep you from seeing things uh, uh, of... Um, the toxic bad situations are different shit that you have went through. You've had no support because they wanted to keep you in some in, in sorrow. Okay? And because they you see how this person in sorrow is broke down and hurt. You see how this person's garments is ripped off of them and different things like that or whatever. And look at the hope card here. You see how this person is like bent over, uh, like they hurt or they injured in some type of way. You see how this blindfold is supposed to be over their eyes here. This is where they put you under mind control to blind you to what was going on around you here. But if you look very closely, you can see this person's eyes at the bottom of the deck. This means you know all the people who have used you and abused you personally. You know who they are. You have seen them. And I see the journey card here. Somebody who is resonating with this reading, you were trafficked. Whether you were trafficked by your real family who allowed you to be trafficked, sent to certain places and experimented on, or sent to certain places and allowed to be abused for a couple of hours and sent back home or whatever, you were trafficked at some point in time. Others of you, you were actually stolen or sold or taken from somewhere, trafficked elsewhere. I told y'all, when I was six, I was put on a, uh, between six and seven, I believe it was when I was six. I was put on a plane by myself. From Cheyenne, Wyoming to supposedly back to Arkansas. Now, do you think I came straight back to Arkansas?
Ask how many adult women you know that would put their child on a plane by themselves. And there's been plenty of young people, usually ones who are in their teens, who have flown by themselves, and they have what is called escorts. Um, and it's, it's, it's interesting to me because when you think about an escort, if I told you about an escort, now I just said the word escort, you would automatically assume what? A prostitute. Hmm. So why would you have prostitute attendants on planes shuffling Supposedly looking after children that's being trafficked through the airway. Ask yourself that. We're going to wrap this reading up, guys. I didn't expect for this reading to be this long. But obviously there's a lot that you all need to know. And I'm getting sick and tired of those that sit back behind the scenes working against you in secret. Uh, uh, and, and assuming people like yourselves and people like myself don't know what the fuck is going on. See, everything is a riddle and a rhyme and a subliminal message and shit to them. They got all type of signs and symbolism for everything instead of just outright coming out saying some shit. But see, I know a whole lot of things. They don't think I know. I don't speak about everything that I know, which most high priests don't. Your entire family's in on the setup. We got TikTok here. Okay, they have some type of deadline. Time has run out for them to kill you. Okay, because they wanted you dead. Yeah, now these other shisty individuals who are in on the setup, they're dealing with anxiety right now. They're scared and they panicked. Let me clarify liars, cheaters, and thieves. These liars, cheaters, and thieves. They in mental conflict right now. They stressed, they worried, they depressed, they're dealing with anxiety, they can't eat, they can't sleep, they can't think, they can't function. They in their own mental prison. And many of them gonna face be faced with being locked down for stealing something from you. Whatever this sudden wealth is that they stole from you, they may find themselves locked down, confined in some type of prison, but they already in a mental prison now for what they have done to you. They're not happy for you. They're not happy for you. Divine Feminine, you're the one who is enduring this. Not to say that there's no masculines around here who have endured treacherous things like this, okay? But they're not happy for you. They don't want you to have change. They don't want you to have high honor. They don't want you to have great fortune. They don't want you to have a home. They don't want you to have uh, occupation. There's something being hidden. There's something being hidden. Yeah, they don't want you to have happiness to buy and feeling. What's being here in the These people are on this hamster wheel. Look at this. They obsessed with you. Obsession here. They want you crushed, broken, sad, feeling alone. Yeah, look at this hamster wheel here surviving daily hustle this is all these people care about you see all that money there you got legal here court paperwork file okay some type of legal situation that's been going on that has to do with this theft here that's being hidden and perhaps they've been waiting around whatever they whatever it is uh, that's illegally been going on in uh, uh, the justice system they've been this is what they've been waiting to steal from you or to take from you here okay but they would have thought that you would have been dead and gone by now that's what they've been waiting on for you to be dead so they can get away scot-free with with stealing this from you here okay so are they on this hamster wheel here all about this money Something been going on legally in a court of law here. You ain't ever had no support. That's why, because they wanted you crushed. Like I said, they wanted you sad. They wanted you broken. They wanted you feeling alone. Yeah. They try to uh, uh, trigger you in some type of way. They also, uh, I see threat in here. These jokers, you see this place, person with this old clown face, joker looking face on here. These clowns have tried to threaten you, wanted you to feel threatened in some type of way. 
wanted to crush you and make you feel sad or broken or feeling alone in some type of way. Okay, you got lockbox at the bottom of the deck, closed in, trapped, frustrated here. This is how they wanted you. I feel like they wanted you stuck, stagnant. The entire family is in on the setup. And this is the reason why they're dealing with disturbances right now. They done did so much hocus pocus, black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, hexes, curses, spells on you. That they are now dealing with uh, uh, obscure uh, situations, disturbances, supernatural, paranormal activity. They being haunted by the very shit that they conjured up against you. Should the individuals involved? Shiesty individuals involved. Look at this. These shiesty individuals are involved. They're in, they're stuck in some type of commitment here. This is binding obstruction contract here. These individuals are under contract. They done took oaths. They done sold a soul. They're under some type of blood contract here that's got them confined, stuck uh, into being a part of this. Okay? Liars, cheaters, and thieves. Yeah, they stressed out about this now. They're dealing with headaches, pressures, and lack of sleep. They in mental conflict. They set the same mental conflict they tried to create and have you in. Okay, this is what they in. They stressed over this. Okay, they don't want you to have some type of gift. There's something that's supposed to be gifted to you here. Okay, yeah, see, there's some type of conflict that's going on amongst these people that's wearing these masks with their fake, phony, fraudulent, deception, pretending asses. Okay. Stubborn. These individuals are stubborn. And it's causing conflict. All of them wearing a mask. All of them not who, who they appear to be. Something is being hidden. Something is being hidden. Look, they're trying to cause a disaster in your life and make it seem like it was natural. Okay? They're taking some type of risk. They want to cause you frustration or they dealing with some type of uh, frustration or something like that. They want to cause some type of disaster. Okay, something is being hidden here. Yeah, curse here. They to put some type of curse on you out of hatred to cause catastrophe in your life, to cause misfortune in your life here, okay? If you've been suffering and struggling and going through your entire life, this is why. You, was, you probably was cursed from birth, okay? You probably was cursed from birth. They don't want you. They're not happy for you. This good news pertaining to this gift. They don't want you to have that. Spirit, why this person ain't had no, no, uh. It's also whatever this legal is that's going on. I feel like this is pertaining to this gift. This large lump sum of money. Sudden wealth. Okay. You had to you had to self love yourself. Like you had to love yourself and care for yourself. If it wasn't for you loving yourself and caring for yourself, you likely would have been gone a long time ago. No support, spirit. No support. Yeah. Loss, bereavement, sorrow, damage. This is what they've done to you. They've they've kept you stuck and stagnant. They did things on purpose to crush you, to cause you to feel sad, to feel broken, to feel alone. They've threatened you, done things to embarrass you even. They've done things to even attack your appearance, to make you embarrassing and different things. Y'all think it's a game when it's really not. They have done spell work on me. Like, I've never been the type to have, like, this really huge, big ass, but I've never had a flat ass, neither. They have done, they have these people doing spell work on my ass and make my ass fat, flat, and then they'll have these women with these overgrown, huge, ridiculous booties, uh, majority of them fake asses, and have them parents around. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, like, you literally got to be fucked up in the head to do spell work on somebody else's ass. They have literally because they have done all type of legal technology on me and my they have radiated the teeth right out of my mouth i kid you not they've even used spell work to make my teeth just chip off and and break by themselves on per they have done things to physically attack my appearance because of they jealous and envious of me okay so with with some of you all it may be different they do the things they do the same thing to my child with acne, like I don't have acne problems. Like I've never had a problem with acne, but they do it bad to my daughter. Like her face breaks out for like no reason at all. 
like ridiculous acne and I don't even understand where she get it like I haven't ever had a problem with acne you understand what I'm saying um I didn't have scars and bruises like every scar and bruise on my I can tell you exactly where it come from and and you know why it's there and different things like that but like the my, my like my skin has been like pure and clean and like you understand what I'm saying like um you don't have, you know, no remnants from, you know, any old scars or from having chicken pox and all this other kind of shit like you had, you see on some people's bodies and skins and different shit or whatever. These people will do shit to attack you on purpose. Like, they don't just do spell work to attack your love life. They will do spell work on your womb. They will do spell work on your job. If you always have it, when you get a job, you always, you don't have that job long and you always losing a job and things like that. That is spell work being done on your job. Okay, you there's spell work being done on your finances and different things. I've had ten fifteen thousand dollars in the bank at one time just sitting in savings, not even having to touch to, to, to pay the bills and different things like that or whatever in savings and then all of a sudden uh car breakdown uh lose a job and everything i have in savings i'm forced to spend just to live off of just to get me back to nothing shit like that is spell work shit like that is being done on purpose people are tampering with your car on purpose people are setting you up on your job on purpose for you to lose your job and different shit like that okay different shit that you go through this shit you keep getting hooking up with low vibrational people and shit people coming in they're lying to you they're cheating on you they beat on you uh all this other kind of shit they're being those are people who are sellers they are ops there they are being triggered they're being programmed to do that shit they're sent your way on purpose just to make your life a living hell on purpose so you would never have any support so you would never feel love wanted so you feel crushed and broken and left alone and all that shit is it it, it jumps from if it's not witchcraft sorcery black magic voodoo it's illegal technology artificial intelligence telepathic communication and and and, and all the rest of the demonic devices and systematic fucking abuse and it goes in that order that's what they are doing that's what they are using. And that's what people don't understand. That's what people don't understand. Yeah. Also, they be doing curses on you to cause your death here. They've been doing death spells on you. I know when they send, I can feel in real time when they're just doing spell work on me and it could be like anything else, uh, like any type of spell work, I, I itch all over I can't stand it it's almost like a, a person with allergic reaction or something like that it makes me itch all over I can feel in real time when they're doing the spell work I've literally felt pressure and projections on my heart where they're sending they're trying to make me have like a heart attack or uh, a stroke or uh, 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 something like that or whatever I can literally feel the energy. I block by it and I rebuke it, it, it immediately in that moment. I know exactly what they're doing. When that beaming shit at my head, I can literally feel the beams, y'all. Like, it, this might sound stupid for, to you all, but I'm an empath. And you don't have to be next to me for me to feel the energy. I feel in real time. Literally, I, I, I can't even explain it right for it to make sense to you. But it literally feels like pressure. But like... Imagine if you seen beams of light, okay? Now imagine if that was like some type of um, motion uh, algorithm, like to like um, imagine like a pulse of a frequency or something. Imagine that being beam. That's what it feels like, okay? And then the little silent white noise, the little squeaking white noise in your ringing in your ear. I hear that in real time. I have them just stop it right away. And and uh, I block by and brook and, and, and call out on the most high to stop it right away. And I, I can literally feel them like turning it down. They'll turn it down just a little bit. And I'm like, I still can hear it, dumbasses. And then they'll turn it down a little bit. And they'll turn it down real, real low, real, real low. All the way to the point where the, the human body can't hear it anymore or whatever. But I know they're still doing it because then I can just feel like a... Even when they turn it down so low where I can't hear it in my eardrum no more, I can feel like a, a thumping. Like the pressure in your eardrum. You can still feel it. I feel this shit in real time. 
And some of you may not have that ability to know, but I'm just letting you know if you have experienced any of those things, that's what is happening. Spell work is being done on you or illegal technology is being used on you to do these things. I kid you not. I kid you not. They manipulate technology all the time. I told y'all the other day, y'all, there's been times, um, and, and, and uh, I'm sitting in, we sitting in the house, there might be one light on in the house, two TVs on my daughter's TV, other TV, you know, not, you know what I'm saying, not using all the power that you have to use in your house at one time or whatever, and all of a sudden the power go out, just black out. They do it all of a sudden. I do it all the time. Matter of fact, the last time, the other day when I told y'all about that, when I got done with that reading, they did it. They did it. They use these microwave-ass weapons and shit. Microwaves are not really used for, like, like you use the microwave for convenience. They use the microwave as a weapon. Microwaves are not really... Um, I mean, like I said, it's used as a convenience to the people, but by to the powers that be, to scientists and shit, microwave weapons is used for another reason. Okay? Everybody has energy through them, around them, and everything. There's energy that's flowing through your body. Okay? Energy is a frequency. Okay? If you can manipulate the energy at a distance from you, around you, then what makes you think that the energy, that the frequencies through your body, through your brain cannot be manipulated. This is what they're doing to invade and violate people, to trigger people. This is the reason why you've heard so many people to be like, oh, they've heard voices. They hear voices and different things and, and God told them to do that and devils told them to do this and demons told them to do that. It just depends on the person and what they decide to use or how they decide to use them. People who have been triggered to kill themselves. People who have been triggered to kill their children. People who have been triggered to annihilate, annihilate their whole family. People who have been triggered to kill their spouses. These people were triggered to do this by manipulation of their mind. They're using this right now today. They're using this to demonize the women. To overly sexualize the children. And to feminize the men. This is how you can take a grown ass man who's been heterosexual all his life. Has been married. Has children. And all of a sudden decides not only to, to change his whole sex. And become a woman. Or just decide to be gay. And he has no idea that his mind has been manipulated. This was not a he assumes that this is a decision that he's made on his own. And I'm not speaking against anybody. If you have made, if you feel like you have made a logical, conscientious decision to live your life the way you want to, to love who you want to, I'm not speaking about you. You have the right to do whatever you want to do with your life. I'm telling you that the government is, government is behind a lot of shit and a lot of manipulation of people. They're literally ready to take people's children away if you will not allow your babies to transition. To change their sex. Do you know how many people in power, wealthy people in power who has forcibly made their children change their sex without their children's approval or desire to want to? Do you know how many of them who have had sons and forced them to be daughters? It's only a few of them where it's been vice versa, where they've turned their girls in, into boys. But it's a whole lot of them who have had sons and turned their sons into girls. It's done a whole lot more than you think. And this is the reason why you have so many of them who are hidden within the industry as well as government as well as these uh, top bloodlines of families as well. Everything that you think you see and what you see and what it is. Period. And it is what it is. That's their business. 
Everybody got the right to live their life the way they want to live their life. Believe what they want to believe. Okay? But at the end of the day, if what you believe in and how you live your life is hurting somebody else, is going to harm somebody else, or sabotage and ruin their life in some type of way, then that is the problem. Okay? I strongly feel that. You can do what you want to do, feel how you want to, be who you want to be. You're the only one that's going to have to answer to that at the end of your life. Answer to that, your way of life, your way of being, to, to, to God, between you and God. If how you live and how you choose to be, whether I think it's right, wrong, or indifferent, don't matter. You're your own person. You can do that. Ain't got nothing to do with me. As long as whatever you're doing and however you're feeling and whatever you decide to be, it's not going to hurt, harm, assault, kill, use, abuse another. I don't care about it. But it is what it is. It doesn't change what is a matter of fact. You live and you learn. That's what's going on here, y'all. That's what's going on here. Okay. Spirit, are there any other messages? Yeah. I see storm unexpected here. So your entire family that's been plotting, planning, and scheming against you, your entire family that's in on the setup, they've been they've been planning this unexpected storms that happen in your life that result in your darn death. This is what they've been doing. Shiesty individuals in on the setup. Look at that. Contrast careers commitment until debt tears apart. This is Saturn energy. That's Satan energy. Contract. This go right along with that commitment con uh, uh, card that came out, which talks about binding contracts. These people, these shiesty individuals outside of your family, that's a part of this. Okay, many of them are. All of them are sellouts. They're under contract. They're being. That means that they are being paid to work against you. Liars, cheaters, and thieves, spirit. Liars, cheaters, and thieves. Lions, cheaters, and thieves there. Something fated is going to happen. There's going to be some type of detour. There's going to be some type of divine intervention. It could be the reason why these people is in stress right now. Okay? Lions, cheaters, and thieves. These people are wearing a mask. They're not who they, are put, they appear to be. They put up a facade pertaining to their beliefs and their belief system and different things, okay? And then they participate in this shit because they're liars, they're cheaters, and they're deceivers, okay? Yeah. Disharmony triggers conflict, okay? This is what these people want to cause here, okay? Yeah, look at that. Toxicity. These people bound and they chain to the devil. Okay? They feel toxicity, temptation, addictive patterns of behavior. Yeah, deception. Temptation, lies. Okay? They're not happy for you. They don't want you. They're not happy for you to have courage. They're not happy for you to have some type of change. Okay? They're not happy for you uh, expressing the truth. Okay? They're not happy for you at all. Yeah. They don't care. They're not happy for your self-care and the energy that you have. Okay? Yeah. Something is being hidden. Shadow side, moon, the dark night here. This means that there are secret things, hidden things. What's what's going on in the lot that's going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors in darkness. Behind your back. Criminal activity, cover-ups, shady people, dirty dealings, decisions being made. Okay? It's a lot going on here. Yeah. These people are guilty of sabotage, though. I keep seeing a water sign, or an a air sign, an earth sign. Individuals that's involved here. Yeah. 
These people are going to wind up in regret for what they have done. They don't want you to have some type of growth. That's why they're not happy for you. Okay? If you notice, anytime you have any good accomplishments or achievements, there was nobody there to pat you on your back, to say good job, to give you, you know, a, a round of applause or tell you to keep up the good work or anything like that. There was nobody there to support you. Or the people that you seen that was close by, they probably act like that they wasn't even happy for you. Nothing that you do good is ever good enough. They also don't want you to have any type of chemistry, a passion, a love in your life. This goes back to those curses and spells that they be putting on you out of hatred. Like I have told you, that they do spell work to attack your physical appearance and your body to make you an abuse, uh, 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 to embarrass you in some type of way, to abuse you in some type of way. They do things to block your love life as well. They try to make your life their business, okay? If they know who your soulmate is, your twin flame is, they try to jump in to intercept these people. To keep y'all from coming together in different things. Because they want you lonely and by yourself. They don't want you um, married and having your own family and being happy and being fulfilled and all those things. They don't want you to have a good job. They don't want you to have benefits. They don't want you healthy. They don't want you happy. Or any of those things. So they've done things to block your love life. Okay? They do all type of things. They'll do spell work on you. And if you're not paying attention, if heavy, heavy spell work is being done on you, and you under a spell, you will go without eating for days and days at a time. You will go without sleeping for days and days at a time, and you'll lose drastic amounts of weight. And then next thing you know, you got people around you talking about you're sick. Talk about you got some type of disease or some type of shit like that. They'll spread them type of rumors and slanders and lies about you. Okay? But they the only... Dick and a booty ass individuals who in threesomes and orgies and in and, and, and sex parties and in and, and, and prostitution rings and all kinds of things and shit. But they try to put that off on other damn people. When they the ones every other damn month, they the ones in the doctor's office to see the doctors. Getting all type of creams and ointments and antibiotics and, and pills and all kinds of shit. Not you, but them. They're how they do. They what they people do. Yeah. See, in your present energy, you're supposed to be abundant, okay? And have gratitude for this abundance. You're supposed to have some type of growth. That's why these people are not happy for you, okay? You haven't had no support because you was rejected. They left you at a loss. They left you fragmented here. That's why in the past, you was in lack and suffering here, okay? Yeah, that's what's going on here. Yeah. This, this legal situation, there has been a legal situation that they have been trying to hide from you. That they did not want you to know about at all. If there was something pertaining to any type of trust fund, inheritance, uh, wills, estates, uh, properties, monies, anything like this. They did try to hide, okay? They either stole your identity, tried to assume your identity, or whatever. They went and lied to the courts and said you was no longer alive, or they didn't know where you was, or that you was incompetent, that you forfeited your rights to this, that, and the other. Whatever they did, they lied. They perjured themselves in the court of law. But they have been trying to keep you out of the courts because something about the law keep coming up here. Something about the justice system, okay, and it's all surrounded around this sudden wealth here they're trying to steal from you. That's the reason why they so desperately wanted you dead and gone. Okay, and the people in power that's assisting it, they have sat back and allowed them to do this. They're working against you as well. Why is it that you got this many people working against you and no, none of these people want you to survive, want you to succeed, want you to possess, want you to, to make it? Why is that? But all of them feel like they're supposed to be successful. They're supposed to feel good and do good and have everything and live good. There's that fire sign again. That's what's going on here, y'all. That's what's going on here. We're going to wrap up this reading, honey. It's gone long, long enough, okay? But, yeah. The different little treacherous things that you've been going through in life, this was purposely done. You were isolated on purpose. You were abandoned on purpose. You was neglected on purpose. You was betrayed on purpose. You didn't have real friends for a reason. You have never loved or had a high vibrational partner that really wanted you and only you. 
You never had nobody that ever wanted to marry you. That ever gave a damn about pleasing you to the fullest. That was all done on purpose. If you grew up in and out the system, that was on purpose. If you was the black sheep that escaped go, that was on purpose. If you was ever put under mind control or brainwashed or dumbed down and different things like that, that was on purpose. That was on purpose. You ever had tried to make sense? You ever had people to try to make you believe you crazy when you're not? That was on purpose. When they are the true definition of mental illness at its finest. Yeah. Everything that you have been through, that you have endured, that you have been without, that you have been lacking, that you was neglected of. That was all on purpose. And out of everything that they have done to you, they have the audacity to be sitting their ass up feeling some type of way. Because they don't want to be exposed for the low down, dirty, shisty, nasty, evil, wicked, demonic cowards that they are for doing what they have done to you. For doing what they have done to your children. That now to the point they just want you dead and gone. Just to keep from anybody knowing just what they have done to you. And you got those who are directly involved and those who are indirectly involved. And guess what? Those of you who are indirectly involved, I dislike you as much as I dislike the people who are directly involved. Because if you know that somebody is being used, abused, mistreated, by the government, by the family, and everything. You knew that these people is out to try to kill somebody. That they're doing all these evil, wicked things. I mean, you didn't stand up for what is right. You didn't speak up for what is right. In defense of that person, you're just as bad as the people who are directly attacking that damn person. So I don't like your ass either. You ain't doing me no favors. You sitting back behind the scenes, quiet because you a coward. And pretend like you ain't got shit to do with nothing But you still sit back waiting to see what's gonna happen I dislike your ass just as much I don't have no respect for you either That's what's going on here y'all your entire family is in on the setup. They're shisey. Individuals is in on the setup. They're liars. They're cheaters. They're thieves. These people are not happy for you and any of your accomplishments and any of your growth and progression in life. There's a lot of things that's being hidden from you. And the reason why you've had to juggle and struggle all your life and never had the support of anybody is because of what's going on here. Because they're greedy, materialistic, money-hungry, gold-digging bitches that's good for nothing. And I hope it's worth it to them. I hope whatever amount of money that they get, whatever type of incentives that they get, I hope it was worth them getting it. I hope it was worth them selling their souls for it. Because they're going to pay for they they going to pay with their lives for that shit. So I hope they're ready for that too. If I never got a thing in life, you best believe they gonna pay with their lives for that shit. Cause Lucifer ain't doing you no favors for free, bitch. Lucifer don't even like y'all. Lucifer just need a vessel to work through. So if you think you playing Lucifer, then you are wrong. Even the highest of those of you who are in power. With all your wealth and all your privilege. You think you ain't good with Lucifer and you can't be destroyed. You are sadly mistaken. Lucifer don't like y'all for one main reason. Because you're too cowards to even worship Lucifer publicly. To even stand up for what it is you supposed to believe in. No, you secret witches. You secret Satanists. You secret devil worshipers. You secret sellouts. You secret bullies. And you secret cowards. 
And if you think Lucifer loves that, then you the fool. I thank y'all for listening. I thank you all for watching. If you'll be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiffgotdiamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond 36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Your closing messages um, we have here comes from Archangel Hanel, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Raphael. Okay, which Archangel, or excuse me, yeah, with Archangel Hanel, uh, with the High Priestess here. This talks about powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information, which is what have I, I have given you all today. This also says to be at peace. With Archangel Gabrielle comes the Empress here, okay? That is you, Divine Feminine that came out, who is enduring this situation. You are a high priestess. You are an Empress. This is the reason why you are hated, okay? Um, this says time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources, okay? Uh, we also have here from Archangel Raphael, the Seven of Raphael, which it says it's time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification here okay we also have here in ending um elevation here i free myself from fear and trust the universe i direct my thoughts to the beauty inside and around me i use my spiritual strengths and knowledge to create light and i rise above doubt we also have in god's hand your situations is in god's hand my trust in life is implicit god's greater knowing and greatest love guide my heart and my choices my faith is steady and i remain true to my light everything unfolds according to god's will okay bottom of the deck we have balance here okay so you will have balance in every uh, area of your life this says i find balance between each sphere of my life i am the master of my daily life i make time to nourish the spiritual and the physical i bring love to my world by fulfilling the needs of my body and soul to the next time guys peace love and light also bottom of this deck we have the six of ariel here your material needs are going to get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways acts of kindness giving or receiving with a grateful heart peace love and light guys namaste i am that i am created in the image of god